Here's the target given two functions in symbolic form which are either exponential involving E or natural logarithmic determine a symbolic expression for their composition. And again we're just going to work through a couple of examples so let's go straight to the blackboard. Example 1. Assume that f of x equals ln x and g of x equals e to the 4 minus 7x. So we want to find a formula for the composition f composed with g of x. But we know this composition means that we simply plug the function f, or plug g into f. But f says explicitly whatever you put in me uh, take the natural log of that thing. So this equals the natural log of g of x. But g of x is e to the 4 minus 7x. So now you can think of the, about this as a composition of inverse functions which yields the identity function so that just pops down the 4 minus 7x or you can use the, the property of logarithms that says that brings the exponent to the front. So that equals 4 minus 7x times the ln of e. But of course the ln of e is 1. So we have the final answer 4 minus 7x. That is the composition f composed with g of x is equivalent to the linear function 4 minus 7x. Here's example two. Um, we have f of x equals e to the 8 minus 5x and g of x equals the natural log of x. Find a formula for f composed with g of x. So f composed with g of x. Again, that's simply plugging the function g into f. But f says whatever you put into me, uh, do this to it. Say e raised to the 8 minus 5 times that thing. So times g of x. Oh. And let's see what this is going to do. This equals e to the 8 minus what 5 times the and g of x is the ln x. So 5 ln x. Uh, you could stop there I guess. But we can, ma we can make this look a little nicer I believe. Let's see. Uh, so equals e the eighth times e to the negative five ln of x by our uh, properties of exponents and what's that going to equal? equals e to the eight times e to the ln of x to the negative fifth and now that is a composition of inverse functions so uh, we get the final answer, uh, therefore, let's say f composed with g of x equals, uh, what's that going to be? e to the e to the eighth times x to the negative fifth or simply e to the eighth over x to the fifth. And that will conclude this video. Thank you for your time.